We define our profession as architects as a, as a combination between design and research. That's where we see ourselves and how we work in the studio, um, in, in research, in the research lab, um, in academia uh, and in practice. Traditionally, the architect being seen as some creator of an of a element or of an architectural piece um, that, that has its, its time or certain time in space is maybe questioned by the idea or by the very nature of our research saying that the material should something that is lasting longer than just the, the manifestation in one building. So for example, right now in the studio we're testing the idea of designing for disassembly. So the architect should not anymore be only the one thinking about the construction, but we are thinking in the design process already how to deconstruct the building and taking the materials back to a system or to a circular economy where they can be reused or recycled and kept running in a, in a circular mentality. We understand our work on cultivated materials on the idea that materials of the future should not be mined, but that materials of the future should be grown or cultivated. The idealistic approach or the benefit of that would be that the question of material is not anymore bound to a source that is located in one or several spots on the earth but basically that you can grow your own material on any spot at any time as you like. In that sense, we are very much interested in materials that are produced by bacteria, for example, materials that are created or grown uh, out of mushroom mycelium. We are very much interested in the idea to having plants as part of our portfolio of architects and making these materials that can be created out of them usable and applicable in architectural practice. The Future Cities Lab was founded in 2010 with the idea to question the simple fact that urbanization rates are growing um, constantly, especially in the so-called developing territories. And the Future Cities Lab is asking the question how this urbanization will happen. We are interested in the cultural dimension that architecture holds. That means looking at architectures in East Africa uh, shows you that certain climatic conditions, that certain social conditions are dealt with with a very specific idea of how architecture is formulated. So it's not the image that we are interested in a vernacular architecture, but we are interested in the functions that these that these vernacular architectures hold. And therefore, we are looking at, at the material level of architecture also in the sense of, for example, the capacity to shelter from sun, to shelter from rain, to create community, to build communities, and not necessarily objects. We see ourselves not developing something that the society or that society does not know of yet. But we think that our research is relevant in the sense that people are already asking these questions. And that we architects also have to deliver. That we architects cannot sit you know, just relaxed back and say that is not part of our discipline. We think, and that's maybe the front that we are working on, that architects should be active have an active role, a driver's seat role in the development of new architectural materials and their application and question also the traditional market and, and supplying solutions for, for the most obvious um, question that society right now asks.